representing the region of Asia, Africa, Pacific, Europe, and America. They consist of 39 women and 33 men in the range of age 21 to 27 years old. More than are five Indonesian from Papua Barat, Maluku, Bengkulu, Yogyakarta, and Jakarta. Joining us for the first time this year are from Benin, Ghana, Bangladesh, Bosnia and Herzegovina, and Jordan. They are chosen from more than 408 uh, applicants from 61 countries. Excellencies, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, the awardees have arrived in Jakarta since three days ago. For a week in this, in this city, they will take part in the orientation program to give them a glimpse of Indonesia. Further, in the next three months, all the awardees will live in uh, and study in six provinces or cities, Bali, Yogyakarta, Banyuwangi, Padang, Makassar, and Kutai Kartanegara. As they live with, within or around the art center, the awardee will also get a chance to interact with the local community, to learn from each other, and have experiences in some religious and cultural culture celebration, including Ramadan. <laughs> I would like also to report that this year we, we cooperate with two new art centers, Gubang Art Center from Kutai Kartanegara, Kalimantan Timur, and Sayu Green Singh of Banyuwangi, Jawa Timur. These two art centers are chosen to allow the awardee to understand more the unique culture of Jawa Timur and to explore the indigenous culture of Kalimantan. At the end of the program, all that our participants will give a cultural performance, the Indonesia Channel, with theme The Color of Beautiful Indonesia. It is a, a showcasing of traditional dance and music they have learned during their stay here in Indonesia. This event will be held in Jakarta, inshallah, by 4th of uh, July 2018. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, the, art, the Indonesian Art and Culture Scholarship has been conducted since 2003. This program aims to enhance the relationship between countries through people-to-people -people contact, while also promoting, preserving the arts and culture of Indonesia. Until 2018, the scholarship has been awarded to 766 youth from 69 countries. The alumni of the program remain closely connected with Indonesia as well as the Indonesian community in their respective countries. Many of them participate in various events held by our embassy and consulates general abroad. <coughs> I am pleased also to inform you that the 12th of, in the 12th of February 2016, so last year, the alumni of the Art and Cultural Scholarship have met here in Jakarta to establish the Association of Indonesian Art and Culture Scholarship Alumni. This association is also intended to be the milestone of the empower, empowering all the alumni to further work, work and develop their art skills and cultural understanding and further promote tolerance harmony worldwide. The Indonesia Art Cultural Scholar alumni also have so far taken an active role in promoting Indonesia. Their active participation include writing in media and or initiating an organization that gather the, the friends of Indonesia. Some of them also founded art Art Center to viral their knowledge and skill about Indonesia, Indonesian art and culture to local community and their respective country. And some of them come back to Indonesia and also hopefully all of you will come back to Indonesia once again. <laughs> for an academic research, for leisure and also for business. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, to conclude this report, I would like also to express my perfect hope that this program will bring us closer by understanding more of Indonesia's value and culture. 
I also wish you all the our team a very success in this learning adventure for all of you. Now, allow me to invite Bapak uh, Fahid, Pak Wamendu, uh, to kindly deliver uh, the welcoming remarks and to officially open the Indonesian Art and Culture Scholarship Program for the year 2018. I thank you. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Excellencies, ambassadors, colleagues, and friends, distinguished awardees, ladies and gentlemen, Assalamualaikum, Selamat pagi, and good morning. It is a distinct pleasure for me to welcome all the awardees to Jakarta, the vibrant capital city of Indonesia. We are pleased to embrace you as the newest members of our extended family, as brothers and sisters of the Indonesian Arts and Culture Scholarship, as friends of Indonesia, and as the ambassadors of Indonesia to the world. I wish to congratulate you all for your achievement of being elected to the Indonesian Art and Culture Scholarship this year. You are the true faces of our modern era, representatives of young generation with vision and courage to learn new things to meet new peoples, to embrace new cultures. Excellencies, distinguished bodies, we have just heard from Mr. Herawan, Director General of Information and Public Diplomacy, that Indonesian art and culture have been running successively since 2003 and registered 776 alumni from 69 countries. This year, 70, 72 awardees from 44 countries are chosen to join this unique circle. We welcome, of course, the some countries that are joining us for the first time, Benin, Ghana, Bangladesh, Bosnia, Ethiopia, and Jordan. See, your representative is here, Ambassador. Of course, I'm expecting more countries and participants to join this scholarship program. Like the saying, the more, the merrier. After all, the Indonesian Arts and Culture Scholarship is Indonesia's flagship to reach young generation around the world. We believe without any doubt that you, young generation, hold the key to the future of this planet, of our mankind. Our late President Sukarno, the first president of this republic, once said, Give me 1,000 old men. I will undoubtedly reach Mount of Simuru, this the tallest volcano in Java Island from its root. But give me 10 youth, I will undoubtedly shake the world. <laughs> Excellencies, distinguished awardees. Our young generation is also agent of peace and proponent of social harmony. 
in the world full of hatred, uncertainty, and discrimination, our reaching out to them becomes imperative. Preventing them from falling prey or become victims, especially in the age of social media, where news is spread globally and at speed. Against this background, Indonesia offers some reaching out initiatives that involve our youth in dialogues and activities in the fields of democracy, interfaith, and intercultural, among others through programs such as Outstanding Youth for the World. This program to expose outstanding young Indonesians to the, to the outside world. Just recently, we sent young people, students, from different religions to Australia as an agent of peace and tolerance. To expand their horizon of thinking and to show the world our peaceful and democratic face of Indonesia. Another program, Foreign Minister meets the Twips, through which we encourage young citizens to help spread peace messages through digital platform. Bali Democracy, Democracy Students Conference, where we facilitate students around the world to discuss about democracy at a conference which was held back to back with the famous Bali Democracy Forum. And future French leaders, where we facilitate youth around the world to hold an interface dialogue. Let us not forget, Indonesia also offers Developing Countries, the Partnership Scholarship, and Dharma Siswa Scholarship. In short, and the simple term, all these programs are designed to build bridges between us and among yourselves. Mind you, nowadays, we desperately need more bridges, not the walls. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we need more bridges because we must cope with the fact of life that each of us is unique and we are different by nationalities, races, and or religions. But never forget, even Muslims, Christians, Hindus, Buddhas, Buddhists, we are bounded by humanity. Diversity is not a source of conflict. It is the seed of harmony and beauty, just like rainbows, stunningly composed from different colors. For a diverse country like Indonesia, with more than 400 ethnics and 700 spoken languages and dialects, embracing all six major religions, harmony is a must. No alternative. In fact, we see those differences as bridges to know and love each other. Back to my color analogy, Indonesia way much better in colors. That is, that is why we raise the colors of beautiful Indonesia as this year theme. <laughs> Distinguished awardees, through this scholarship, we bring you the biggest lamp of world culture. Indonesia, the place where you will find tolerance, solidarity, and peace in one package. 
during this three months program I hope you can dive deep into our cultures and values be inspired keep them dear to your heart and resonate them to the world I wish you all the world is every success in this fantastic, I would repeat, fantastic learning adventure. <laughs> By saying Bismillahirrahmanirrahim in the name of Allah, Munificent, the Merciful, I declare the 2018 Indonesian Arts and Culture Program officially open. And we would like to kindly request Your Excellency, Dr. Fakir, and Mr. Director General of Information and Public Diplomacy to symbolically inaugurate these two awardees by presenting their ID badges.
Thank you. Thank you.